In today's video, we are going to go through the pros and cons of having stretched ears. The con list that I have made with the help of you guys is about twice as long as the pro list, but as we will notice, the pros outweigh the cons for most of us. My backstory is that I pierced my ears when I was 17, I think, and I started stretching my ears when I was 18, so I don't have a like half a lifetime of experience having normal earrings. I also don't have a lot of experience with different materials simply because my ears react to most materials that aren't wood. So I have been wearing wooden plugs for a few years now. So some of these pros and cons and whatever that might be material specific are not things that I have experienced myself, but I will take your word for it. And I thought it could be a good idea to include not only my experience and my opinions into this video, because all of us have different experiences, of course. And for someone who is either stretching their ears or maybe thinking about stretching their ears, it could be a good idea to get like a fuller perspective than that of just me. So let's start by going through the cons. Some are, of course, more serious than others. The biggest con, in my opinion at least, and something that a lot of you seem to agree with, is other people. And this is a con that is fairly easy to just like let go of. It's not a deal breaker. Other people will always have their opinions, but Jesus Christ, other people have issues with stretched ears. They're constantly going to tell you it looks gross. They're constantly going to ask you if it hurts. They're constantly going to want to touch it or put their finger in it or say you'll regret it or I don't even know. Other people will always be a pain in your ass when you have stretched ears. So into that people category, everything that has to do with other people is like included. So we don't have to go through every single thing that other people say because they say a lot. Let's just leave it at that. The next con is that you can't really wear any kind of ear jewelry. You might have a big collection of ear jewelry or earrings or whatever before stretching your ears, or maybe you would like to have some jewelry, other kind of jewelry in your ears. And there are ways of getting around this. You can, for example, I don't know, hook a hoop into the bottom of your plugs and there are plugs with a little hole in the middle. Like there are ways that people have tried to solve this issue. But in my personal opinion, it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to stick with a con being that you can't wear normal ear jewelry without it looking kind of odd. Another major con that I didn't expect, but I have suffered from, as many of you have as well, is cold ears during the winter or just in cold weather in general. Your ears get so cold when you have them stretched especially if you're wearing some kind of metal jewelry in your ears, like you could get frostbite on your lobes. And that's not a good look. And sometimes it can be difficult to kind of fit your ears, especially if you have really big ears. But mine, I mean, I usually just pull my hat down under here, but you can also, I guess, flip them up, but that wouldn't be very comfortable. <laughs> the next con is that they might fall out and they might fall out when you don't want them to fall out. They might fall out when you're sleeping. They might fall out in water. I don't know how many pairs Sonny has lost when he like dives into water and they come out of his ear and then they're at the bottom of the sea and you can't get them back. And this risk increases due to the next con and that is self stretching. And what that basically means is that your ear stretches itself without you doing it consciously. And this happens either, I mean, mine, the more they heal, the more they kind of stretch. I can wear double flared plugs without any problems. I just pop them in there. And they were 30 millimeters when I stopped stretching them. But now, I mean, they could easily be 32 millimeters. Like, I don't even know what anymore, but I only wear 30 millimeter jewelry. So that means that they can easily fall out. And if you wear heavy jewelry, that will also stretch them because like weight stretching is also a form of stretching. So if you enjoy wearing weights as jewelry, your ears will probably stretch from it. And the other side of this self stretching is the self downsizing. Like if you take them out or if they fall out or, if you just forget to put them back in or whatever, they might start shrinking and you will have to stretch them again to get to your normal size. The next con is that it can be uncomfortable to sleep on them depending on your size. I mean, if you have quite small 
stretched ears. I mean, I, I, at my size, I don't think it's uncomfortable to sleep in them, but you really have to, when you put your head down on the pillow, you have to make sure that they are in a comfortable position. Otherwise it could definitely be uncomfortable. And I never sleep in any material other than wood. And I don't wear tunnels when I sleep either. Like stainless steel tunnels, they are the most uncomfortable like plugs or tunnels you could sleep in. It's like putting a cookie cutter to your head or your like neck and then sleeping on it. Something you might've noticed if you do have stretched ears and wear plugs, for example, is that when you talk on the phone, your ears might smack the phone and make a really loud sound. I've noticed this when I like go to answer my phone, I'm like, Wearing headphones might be annoying or difficult sometimes. Uh, if you have big ears, then I guess the headphones don't fit over your plugs. I'm kind of in the middle of that. They, I, they don't really fit above, but not a lot of them are hanging outside of the headphones. However, when they get like pressed to your skin and you're like on a five hour train ride, then it can start getting sweaty behind the plug which can cause like irritation or itchiness or whatever. So I can never wear headphones for many hours in a row because of my plugs. An obvious con that I think a lot of people are aware of is that it can be discriminated against in the workplace. So not all jobs or professions will allow people having stretched ears. And if you ever decide for a day or for the rest of your life or for a week or whatever that you don't want to wear plugs or tunnels or any kind of jewelry in your ear, it looks kind of weird when you take them out. I am not comfortable walking around without any jewelry in my ears because I just don't like the way it looks. So the day that I no longer want my plugs, I will have surgery on them and close them up. And speaking of surgery, they will probably not close up completely without surgery. I think the magic number is usually ar around like 12 millimeters and under 12 millimeters, they might shrink up, but they might not go the whole way. So wearing normal jewelry in a shrunken stretched ear might still not be possible because the hole will probably still be bigger than it should be. And my ears, for example, will never close without surgery and surgery costs money. So you have to be aware of that. When I started stretching my ears, I was aware that you could have surgery on them. And I knew that I'm not going to have stretched ears for the rest of my life. And I was like, I accepted that. And I was like, one day I'm going to have surgery. It's going to be really expensive, but it's worth it. If you stretch your ears incorrectly or in a rush or just in a bad way in general, your ears will probably look pretty fucked up for the rest of your life. Like until you fix them, of course. But I, if you've heard my stretching story, you know that I stretched them to like 20, 21 ish millimeters really poorly. Like I was in a rush, just like everyone else. I just didn't listen to any of the advice and I just went for it. I got blowouts, like my ear got infected. I had to take them out and start over. And I still have a little bit of a blowout, especially on my left ear, I think. The next time I stretched them, I stretched them properly. And I didn't get any kind of blowouts from that second stretch, but it's really difficult to get rid of blowouts or any kind of damage to your ears once you have fucked them up. A lot of ears tend to be sensitive and I don't know if that's the case with re regular earrings as well. You might be allergic to certain materials, etc. but stretched ears can be very sensitive. Mine are sensitive to almost all materials that are not wood or, I mean, I can wear surgical steel, but not for very long. And I can't sleep on pillowcases that have been washed in like very fragrance detergent because they just <clears throat> swell up. And it can take a long time for you to find what materials and what other things you are sensitive to. And while we're talking about the sensitivity and ears swelling up, itching, being like red and gross, the smell. I think 80% of all the comments I got regarding pros and cons, people mentioned the smell. And as I said in the beginning, I've been wearing wooden plugs for years now. My ears don't smell at all. They have never smelled. I don't have to wash them all the time. There's, there's no odor. It's when I take my plugs out and smell them, they smell like wood because this is wood. <laughs> and a lot of people commented as well that they wear wood and their ears don't smell. Now you don't have to wear wood and some people are allergic to different kinds of woods and that's fine. But there is a life without smelly ears. Like 
I, I, I was just blown away by the fact that so many people were like, the smell, the smell, as if that's standard. But a smelly ear is doesn't feel like a very healthy ear. And if your ears need to be washed thoroughly every single day, maybe look over what materials you are wearing. If you don't want to switch materials, then fine. Wash your ears all the time. But I personally don't even know what smell you're referring to. I, I don't think I've smelled it, but I guess it can be a con. For a lot of you, it is a con, and that's why I'm including it in this video. The next con is that it sucks when you're in the process of stretching and you haven't reached your final size, or you might even not even know what your final size is. Then spending money on nice jewelry or just spending money on plugs in general sucks, because as you stretch your ears, you're never gonna be able to wear that jewelry ever again. For some, working out can be annoying. I run a lot, or used to run a lot at least, and I never had any issues with my plugs. I couldn't even feel them when running. Like, they look like they would be annoying, but my head doesn't move like this when I run. My head is pretty, like, stable. <laughs> Uh, the only time I had to like literally take my plugs out during an exercise was when I did stair intervals Like I was running upstairs because then my head was literally doing this and I got like smacked in the face all the time So for some sometimes plugs can be quite annoying when you are working out one con that I experience used to experience a lot that no one else mentioned among all the comments that I got which I think is pretty interesting um, I don't do it anymore because I have short hair now, but when I had long hair and I had showered, I washed my hair and I did this like flip my hair over and put the towel on my head and twist it and flip it back, my ears would always get stuck like this in the towel. It would be so annoying and every time I would have to like <coughs> yank my ears out of the towel and obviously it's a first world problem, <laughs> not the end of the world, I promise. But it's annoying. It's a con. And uh, if you don't want to get rid of your stretched ears because of this con, you can just shave your hair off and you don't have to deal with it anymore. Another con of stretched ears that is different compared to other modifications, or at least a lot of other modifications, is that you can't hide them. Like, how would I hide these? There's just no way. If you have long hair, I guess you can kind of hide them. Um, I guess you could kind of put them in a hat or whatever or put a bandana, but still they would kind of be visible and You can't take them out because then it looks even more weird for whatever reason you would want to it's very very difficult and the last con for today's video feel free to add to the list in the comment section below uh, if you're here to write they're ugly. I covered that in the first con. You don't have to write that so uh, the last con is that Earlobes are, I don't know the, the word, like, what it, what's it called? It's a not erotic spot <laughs> on your body, but it's like, there are spots on your body that are extra sensitive, and there's something about the earlobes that are like, they're like nipples on your head. I don't know. And someone wrote that they used to enjoy having their partner or whatever, like, nibble their <laughs> earlobes or like, do something with their earlobes. And that is kind of difficult when you have stretched ears. Now we have covered the long list of cons and let's dive into the pros and finish off this video strong. The first and most important pro is that most of us who have stretched ears think it looks nice. It looks cool. It looks unique. It looks personal. It looks different. We just like the way it looks and that pro cancels out pretty much all of the cons. Maybe not the like discriminating in a workplace. We need a job. But all other cons we can live with because we like the way it looks. Period. That's the pro. That's why we do it. But there are some other pros as well. For example, all the nice jewelry you can get. Some people say that now that I have plugs, I don't have to worry about jewelry. I don't have to match my jewelry to my outfit or whatever. But you can if you want to. So you still have that opportunity. And there is a lot of really nice ear jewelry to get. But you also miss out on regular ear jewelry. So it's a pro and a con in one. It can increase your confidence. I don't know if it has for me. I am confident 
about my ears, but some people might be a little bit insecure about their ears and when stretching them, they could gain a confidence because maybe it hides something they were insecure about or it just makes them look unique or different in some way. Something I've never experienced, but a lot of people said that you can put the headphones like through the ears and into your ears so they don't fall out easily. So they kind of keep your headphones in place. Another pro is that it's not permanent. It really isn't. A lot of people will see it as permanent because you are altering like your skin and everything and it looks really permanent, but it's not. You can have surgery, you can sew them together and they will look almost exactly the same as they did before, just a little bit shorter because they have to like, you know. You can change your mind. You can either regret it in the future, which I don't think is the case with a lot of people. I think it's more of a you change, you have a different style at some point, or you just are tired of them, or you want to wear regular jewelry, and then you can go back. Some people said that them being a conversation starter is a pro. For me personally, it's a con, but <laughs> some people like having conversations with other people. In that case, conversation starter. <laughs> and as I said before, a lot of people spoke about the constant cleaning, the um, it being not so like hygienic maybe, or that it's like gross and whatever, but someone actually wrote that due to the constant cleaning that that person does, it's more hygienic because they didn't use to clean their ears that much before and now they clean it all the time. Another pro that someone wrote that I personally haven't experienced because I haven't worn irregular ear jewelry that much in my life is that you can't feel these when sleeping and that's how it is for me, I can't really feel them when sleeping and apparently regular like ear studs can poke you in the neck when you're sleeping. And on the topic of like studs and the con of having studs at the back of your ears is that if you have like a a scarf or whatever around your neck, it can kind of get stuck, especially if it's a knitted scarf or a knitted shirt or something that you pull over your head, these little studs can like rip it or get stuck or whatever, which can be painful. <laughs> the last pro is that um, it freaks people out. And for me, that's not a pro. Again, with a conversation starter, I don't want people to be freaked out. I don't want people to look at me. I don't want people to talk to me. <laughs> uh, but for some, they enjoy like taking them out, putting their finger in their ear, putting pens in their ears, being like, Bleh, I have stretched ears. Are you freaked out yet? I don't do that, but it's a possibility if that is something that you in fact enjoy. So that's this very, very, very long video on the pros and cons of having stretched ears. For me, the biggest pro is that I like the way it looks, period. And the biggest con is probably that I'm missing out on regular ear jewelry. But other than that, I'm happy with them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Have a super good one. See you later. Goodbye.